Hey everyone, George here, the Disney Family Man, coming to you with another video. This is going to be uh, my round two <laughs> of dining reviews. Um, the first one that I uh, did was uh, for Tony's Town Square. Um, I will actually link that one at the end of uh, this video, but um, that one was a not so good review so I thought this time I'll give you a much better positive review and I tell you what this one is no disappointment <laughs> this one is the California Grill which is the restaurant that resides up at the very top of Disney's con uh, contem I can't talk today folks sorry <laughs> the Contemporary Resort Hotel and I absolutely love this hotel I mean I love the, the A-frame design of the hotel. I love how the monorail goes through the hotel. Um, it's very unique uh, of how it was designed and how it was built because they put uh, they built the rooms into the hotel as dresser drawers. So they just kind of slid the, the rooms into place once the structure of the building was built. Uh, the Mary Blair mural inside uh, the hotel where, where you, um, it sits in between where you can go, uh, for the monorail and for, uh, Chef Mickey's and Contempo Cafe. And it's, it's gorgeous. And that's actually where, uh, uh, Bob Hope gave, uh, his speech. And, uh, so little piece of Disney history there for you. Um, and I believe that was during the, the opening of uh, Walt Disney World back in 1971 that Bob Hope gave his speech uh, standing in front of the uh, Mary Blair mural. But anyway, let's talk about the California Grill. This restaurant has yet to disappoint, and I'm so glad that that's the case because we continue to go there every single trip. It's a tradition since my wife and I started going there for our uh, honeymoon slash anniversary trip and that was the restaurant we actually ate on our anniversary day uh, and we did that year after year so we thought this time even though we weren't going on our anniversary day we thought well let's still go and show uh, our son you know one of our favorite restaurants and little did we know you know where we were going to sit we didn't ask we didn't have no requests for it but we were ended up sitting at a window seat where you can literally see Magic Kingdom Park and you can oversee uh, several of the other Disney Resort hotels surrounding the Contemporary Hotel and it's it's a breathtaking gorgeous view and what a better way to have dinner than to have a viewpoint like that um, so starting off I had to try one of their um, it was a ravioli. Um, it was a very, it was one ravioli, but it was very big. It came with like this kind of uh, crispy type of wafer thing that was placed on top, sort of like a garnish with a, a white cream sauce. And the ravioli was phenomenal. It was, it was decadent. It was delicious. Uh, my wife ended up getting a, a fish, uh, entree for which at the moment I can't recall what kind of fish it was I, I can't remember if it was I, if, I don't know if it was halibut it was one of one of the main type of, I think it was halibut but don't quote me on it um, I tried a piece of the fish it was very flaky it was very light it was bursting with flavor and she devoured that whole entire dish <laughs> um, our son got the house uh, made mac and cheese, which it wasn't a typical mac and cheese where, you know, it was a heat up mac and cheese made in a box sort of thing, heated up in a microwave. I mean, it was homemade from scratch mac and cheese, and you could actually taste it with the, the taste of the cheese itself. And he absolutely loved it. I ended up getting the filet mignon. Um, the filet mignon was very good. It wasn't great. Um, not to what I'm used to getting as far as California uh, grill standards, as far as it being over the top, but it was a really good steak. I can't say it was a bad steak. It wasn't an okay steak. It was a really good steak. 
but it just missed the mark of it being overly good. But I digress, it was still very, very good. For me, <laughs> and I'm usually not a dessert person, but there were two desserts on the menu. And they are two desserts that I cannot pass up. I will order both. I could be stuffed, brimmed, my belly button popping out. <laughs> and I will still order these desserts. And that is a souffle and a creme brulee. And they had both. Uh, and I, I loved the creme brulee. I absolutely loved, 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 I cannot emphasize enough, loved the souffle. If I could have ordered five of them and that just be done, I would have ate five souffles. Um, it was perfect. It was a way to wrap up the evening. Um, Josh ended up with a sort of like a dessert sushi uh, platter where they kind of, instead of rice, it was a Rice Krispie treat. And it, instead of it being like wasabi, it was like a sweet, um, I forget all the things that were involved with it, but he ended up enjoying that as well. And he was able to share the uh, the creme brulee and the souffle, or whatever I was willing to share with him because I wanted to keep it all for myself. <laughs> um, but in any case, the, the overall experience of California Grill even with the slight, and I mean like slight hairline follicle of a, I don't want to say disappointment, but just kind of not reaching overly with the bar of the filet mignon, but add everything else together, it is still a top-notch A-plus must-do uh, dinner if you ever choose to say, hey, I want something sort of kind of elegant, but yet not to, you know, over the top, fancy ballroom type of dining. Um, the service there is remarkable. They do an excellent job at it. And I highly recommend anybody that has the opportunity to go to California Grill, experience it. Especially if you are able to get a window view of the Magic Kingdom and the other resort hotels, it is a breathtaking view while you're having dinner. And there is actually something you should know, that if you have dinner at California Grill, and it's not during the time of fireworks, if you hold on to your receipt, if it's first come, first serve, it's very limited, you can go back to the main lobby desk inside the, the resort hotel, show them proof that you dined that night at California Grill, and they can send you up to a private area of the restaurant uh, where you can uh, view the fireworks. Um, I believe it's the restaurant. It may be like out like in a deck thing. We didn't do it. Um, we ended up going back to our hotel for a night swim. Uh, but there is an option to do so. Or you may pick a time where you're dining and being able to eat and watch the fireworks from your dining room table. Um but for us, that wasn't the case. But just to dine there with those kind of views, it is remarkable. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, that's my uh, dining review for the California Grill. I hope you all enjoy it. Please comment down below. Anything, any questions, any uh, suggestions, your opinion on it? Have you dined there before? Are you wanting to dine there? Please, I'd love to hear from you guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And as always, stay healthy, stay safe, stay Disney. Bye, everybody.